Welcome to the Pediatric Advanced Life Support Chapter on Pediatric Pharmacology. We will look at some of the most important medicines used in pediatric advanced life support, along with their indications, some side effects to look out for, and the appropriate dosage that should be administered. Adenosine is indicated for supraventricular tachycardia. Side effects may include facial flushing, shortness of breath or difficulty of breathing, lightheadedness, nausea, low blood pressure, palpitations, chest pain, or headaches. The dosage is as follows. An initial dose of 0.1 mg per kilogram via IV or IO route using a rapid push up to a maximum of 6 mg. The second dose should be 0.2 mg per kilogram via IV or IO route using a rapid push up to a maximum of 12 mg. Albuterol is indicated for asthma, anaphylaxis, and hyperkalemia. Side effects are anxiety, headaches, coughing, difficulty breathing, palpitations, tachycardia, high or low blood pressure, heartburn, nausea, diarrhea, and reddening of the skin. The dosage of albuterol is as follows. 4 to 8 puffs to be repeated after 20 minutes as needed. For children under 44 pounds, 2.5 mg per dose every 20 minutes. And for children over 44 pounds, 5 mg per dose every 20 minutes. The drug amiodarone is indicated for supraventricular tachycardia, ventricular tachycardia, and pulseless arrest. Side effects include headaches, dizziness, pulmonary fibrosis, acute respiratory distress syndrome, bradycardia, nausea, vomiting, rash, hyper or hypothyroidism, congestive heart failure, and abdominal pain. The dosage of amiodarone is as follows. For supraventricular tachycardia or ventricular tachycardia, administer 5 mg per kilogram IV or IO load over 20 to 60 minutes with a maximum dose of 300 mg. For pulseless arrest, administer 5 mg per kilogram via IV or IO bolus with a maximum dose of 300 mg. Atropine is a drug indicated for symptomatic bradycardia, toxins or overdose, and a rapid sequence intubation. Some side effects may be headache, dizziness, blurred vision, tachycardia, low blood pressure, nausea, vomiting, urinary retention, rash, and dry skin. The dosage for bradycardia is 0.02 mg per kilogram via IV or IO route and this dose can be repeated once or it may be administered via endotracheal method at a dose of 0.04 to 0.05 mg per kilogram. The dosage for toxins or overdose is 0.02 to 0.05 mg per kilogram via IV or IO route initially to be repeated every 20 to 30 minutes for children under 12 years old. For children over 12 years old, administer 0.05 mg per kilogram via IV or IO route initially, and then 1 to 2 mg repeated every 20 to 30 minutes. For rapid sequence intubation, the dose is 0.01 or 0.02 mg per kilogram via IV or IO route, or 0.02 mg per kilogram via intramuscular route. This concludes our first video on pediatric pharmacology. Please proceed to the next video to learn more.